I bet you this ain't gonna start today. Here we go. It's gonna be a good day. Are you excited? The calves are coming home. We're getting this weaning pen ready because today we're starting weaning. Yesterday we had like a 40 mile an hour wind. We got some rain, about 30 hundredths. Wasn't too bad. It soaked right in pretty good. We're getting this pen ready. We got four lick tubs in there. They're stress lick tubs. They're supposed to help the calves stay a little healthier as they're getting weaned off their mothers. We got a couple bales in there and I put the skid loader away, but I need it again. So the goal is to bring 70 of our calves, home raised calves here, put them in this pen. We're gonna work them, get them up in the hydraulic air equipped chute, give them their second round of shots because we did the first round about a month ago in preparation for weaning. It's a stressful time for them. They're obviously getting moved away from their mothers. So they're wondering where they're at. They're gonna be circling, they're gonna be balling, mooing, and their food is gonna be switched up quite a bit. Instead of milk and some grass, they're gonna be eating bales. Like I said, we put some tubs in here. We got some X-Factor Stress 20 with moss. We got these from Storla Station yesterday. In a little bit, we're gonna be wrangling up some critters. Gotta load the four-wheelers, move some equipment around. Right quick, I'm gonna take this ball out so they can just get at it a little easier, get at the water. Since we might be in some rough terrain and working cattle, Got my brace on. I'm gonna be sporting that basically the rest of my life anytime we're doing something with cattle. If you're new here, in April of this year, I hurt my knee, I tore my meniscus, and had my third knee surgery. I am trying to not do that again and gonna be diligent and wear my knee brace. And that's just kinda how it's gonna be, I guess. Last year, on this exact day, we were backed up, we let calves out, one turned around, ran this way, kicked Jeff, and then tore off across the countryside, and then we had a rodeo. But we got it back. We did. And then it, somehow, in a couple weeks later, it lost its member. Yeah. It got castrated. Yeah, it didn't make the cut. Did It, it got the cut by not making the cut. Yep. That's some good critters walked themselves right up. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> these cows are just going right back out to the pasture and then eventually they'll be moved to these corn stalks. We got 160 acres of corn stalks out there. Sorted off like a charm and they just hung out there. That's some good girls. What I like the best about the cows is what they raise for calves. Holy cow. Hmm. Holy cow. Those are some good, 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 good calves. We have a bit of trouble with this loadout setup. It's kind of wide. Calves like to turn around and they don't like to get up in there and to start with. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, it ain't great. It's bad enough for cows. Calves really. Just like that, 20 calves off their mamas. 
ready to get worked at home and get ready to be put in a feedlot. They, these are exclusively off of first calf heifers. Those, those girls did a great job. So we got a five way and a seven way and we're giving them their second round, get that immune system really pumping and keeping them safe while they're, you know, under all that stress and just in the feedlot. That guy's tall. So we just got a couple to retag. Dad spent a lot of time in the pastures watching, seeing which one sucked which cow, and uh, writing down numbers and figuring out who belonged to who. Just some gorgeous Angus calves right there. So how long are they gonna be out there? A couple weeks, probably. Well. Probably not quite that long. We'll start feeding them in the bunk once they... We want them in a pen that doesn't have bunks because they can crawl through while they're balling and everything. This is a good tight pen. We'll keep them in there, we'll get them eating, and then we'll move them over and start giving them a little grain with their hay. So it's probably 10 days. Something. Cows are way out there. We got the corral already set up. We left it here from when we were doing first round of shots. And here's Jeff, he was grinding hay, he was a little busy this morning. Good afternoon, Jeff. How are you? Good. Good. We got 20 done. You what? We went over the south farm and did 20. Really? Yeah. 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 Snappy time. There's a really big rat just trying to help us. Oh, you... You are going to be turning to burger. Casualties of war. What do you think there? How's it going? Good. It's going good. <laughs> <laughs> I'd fight you, but I don't have the energy. I don't either, so. <laughs> there you go. back home and working. See you girls. I can't imagine having problems with that gate. Yeah. 
and get kicked? Yeah, I'm sure you don't. number is 509 that is the that's the bruiser of the year maybe get a look at him oh, oh, oh. wouldn't want to wake up and see him in your bedroom it says b1 if that helps you Want me to just catch him? Woo! Okay. That one's an athlete. Come on, little doggies. Get on now. Eep, eep, eep. He didn't get kicked. Nope. So it's, headed, so good. it's headed the right direction. Two groups completely done. We gotta go grab that corral. We got the tires and the battery in the back so we can lift that up and then haul it to our other 35 pair pasture. Uh. set up over here because the cows were over here well now we're done the cows are way up there where we normally set up so there's that there's a big old jackrabbit up there leading the way I guess if some cows don't get in the corral they ain't a big deal we don't need them anyway but if you lose them too early sometimes Another cow will see and be like, I want to be with that one. We need you, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Starting to get a little hot. We're misplacing a bunch of stuff, so we're moving to the hard slappy that don't rattle and what do you call this one tattered slappy tattered slappy he chose tattered slappy it's a little lighter than the hard slappy Yep. 
six or seven left and we'll chase them in and then we're gonna grab those 40 pairs chase them up and that'll be a successful day come on with your friends cousins and half half uh brothers and sisters or maybe your cousins and your half brothers at the same time and your sisters mother-in-law some of you are probably your own grandpas even come on get to use this here new gate today for the first time cows are in the pasture we're gonna chase them through this gate out this gate through the corner here through a couple gates there and up into the corral and hopefully they don't go that way because it's a weedy tree mess tree weed mess and it would make things exciting Alright, so Jeff's gonna bring them down. Dad and I are gonna thwart them along that fence. Saw a couple calves getting the last final drinky on the way in. They were dragging behind their mothers by the teeth, getting that last suck. Man, the weeds are something awful. I'm hungry. I'm sore, Mark. Mm, I feel pretty good. You're young. You should. Well, young and three knee surgeries. The goal was two groups. We're almost done with our fourth. Yep. So you want to head 30 miles west and do my group after this? <laughs> do you? No. <laughs> I didn't catch good. It's a bad time to have to reload. Yeah. That head catch comes in handy sometimes, though. That's the one we were looking for. You know, we all got kind of our ailments. I got the knee. You and Jeff are both old. Yeah, so. How about that, Jeff? You didn't get kicked today. There's a few eating on the hay. So we did 20, 35, 35, and 40. So that equals 130 critters, I think. Doesn't look like much when they're all bunched together. Last thing to do, take the girls out back, then have a steak and a bush light. Call it a day. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, you done messed up. Kelly had one of her horror days. That's she her worst nightmare. Locked in the garage when we were working cattle. Doing's outside, but not in the garage. We weaned about 130 today. And we didn't explain why you wean. The day's got to come for people my age. They're dreading that day 26 when you get kicked off your parents' insurance. And so that, that day came for these calves. Um, part of it is they, of course, need to get in the feedlot, get growing. But the moms, they're, they're getting into that third trimester where that calf inside of them, they will be, where that calf inside of them is growing quite a bit and so they're going to be demanding a lot of nutrients and with them calf sucking on them, taking a lot of that rich milk, it's going to... Yeah, they need to start working on building up their next calf instead of feeding this big bugger. Mm -hmm. Michelob mom beer, huh? Mom said didn't need it all so I took it. Mm. That's all I got. My arm's getting tired. Hope you enjoyed watching today. I think That's tomorrow. That's the only thing that don't hurt on me. Actually, I used to have sore shoulders after hit pulling the head gate all the time, but now that we have a hydraulic one, Cole runs it. I got the sore fender. Okay. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. I feel like my grandson's going to be a swimmer. Ha, ha, ha.